Hey, John Hardison here with you from Studio 113 at East Hall High School in Gainesville, Georgia. Let's take a look today at MoveNote, a pretty cool presentation app. Now, you don't have to add MoveNote to your Google Drive. You can simply go to MoveNote.com and use it by itself. However, if you do connect it with your Google Drive, you'll have the power of Google Drive with that. If you're adding it for the first time or connecting it the first time, go to New, More, Connect more apps, and then from there, type in Move Note, and you'll see I've already added the Move Note for Education. That's why it says Rate it. If I had not, it would say Connect. Since I've already added it, I could do something as cool as right-clicking on a document and open with Move Note. I could go to Pictures and other documents and do that. But for the sake of this video tutorial, I'll go to <clears throat> excuse me New more and move note now as soon as I get into move note I'm going to allow my camera to be used and hey everybody hope you're doing well before I add some slides I want to show you around you can go to create new and obviously start a new move note but this is my first one so why do I need to go to that I could also go to archive and you could see one that I did here very recently called smartphone test in which I use the move note smartphone app so please look for that video tutorial but if i wanted to i could share this uh, smartphone test with gmail i could also click here and share it these number of ways and then i could click on settings and rename edit download embed which is very cool look at some of my viewer statistics and i could delete this move note i'm going to go back and i'll allow my camera one more time Click close, hey again, and I'm going to edit. I'm going to edit this, I'll call it um, computer test. Since I've already done a smartphone test, there we go. And from here, I'm going to add some slides, and you can see I can go to computer or I can go to Google Drive. And I'm going to go to Google Drive. Let's load a PDF file. This should be six slides and you'll see it's converting up here in just a second i will add that and then i'll add maybe a picture just to show you how you can do that very simple stuff so you can see i have six slides this is an assignment that our students in american literature did and i'm going to go back now and add a slide from a google drive from here i'll choose a picture that shows the way we were recording in our class and I'll wait for it to upload. Here it is converting. It says one of seven now. I can go to that one very quickly. And there's the picture. Now if I want to, I can also reorder. So let's say I thought, well, this one's out of order. I can move it right here. I could also take one and I could drag it and delete it. But I'm going to leave it where it was. Everything looks fine. And then now I will save changes and move. So all there is left to do way too simple again as I would go over here to the red button and I would click record and as I'm recording I would advance my slides by themselves or click on them and they'll go through and I can talk about this I can uh, kind of go a little bit more into detail but please do know that if I wanted to I could circle or underline some of these words with a red laser point. Now that red laser point will vanish, but it will kind of let you know what I'm highlighting at that time. So some very, very cool things. Again, it is very simple. When I get done, I would hit the stop button, which would be the same red record button. And then at that time, I would have all of those options by which I would share it. So pretty cool stuff. If you want to see me kind of give a little mini presentation of what this would look like. I'm about to turn off my screencasting software that I'm using right now, and I'm going to actually record a quick move note. So please look for the link to that. Okay, way too easy. Dive on in and get moving, and you'll take a note, this move note. It's pretty cool.